Hi Taurus and welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee and this is New Angel Tarot. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, hey, thanks for coming back um, and checking out another video. Today's video I'm using uh, for this new series, uh, the Marseille Tarot. Uh, this is a deck that I've had for um, a really long time, but it's just sat in my bookshelf and I haven't taken the time to get to know this system and I'm getting to know it now. So bear with me while I go through these readings. Um, I am shuffling, pre-shuffling the cards before I start the video, which is something I don't normally do. I usually do everything live. But in this instance, I'm going to use this next series as well to help me, help you uh, interpret the cards as well as give you some divine messaging and to teach myself Marseille along the way. So I hope you enjoy this video. It's a beautiful set of cards you have here. But on top of that, I also am using the Enchanted Tarot, which is a really, as you can see, it's a really large deck. Um, but the backing on these cards are really similar, actually, to the Marseille, uh, you know, patterns that you'll often see, all the filigree and the ornamentation on these cards. So it kind of worked. And I just thought this is perfect because I'm only giving you guys three cards. So I thought I'll just pull one big enchanted tarot card uh, as an overarching energy to get started so let's do that hey beautiful taurus let's see what your overarching message is for this video as i said they are massive so i have to do them this way what does taurus need to know all right that feels pretty good let's pull one off the top and you have Three of Pentacle. Okay, so this deck is very much mixed media. It's um, It's been created as a form of sort of collage. Every single card is sort of um, hand created and then photographed and then obviously printed uh, as a tarot deck. But it's very feminine, it's very beautiful, and it's very different. And again, I just wanted to sort of change things up uh, for these sets of videos keep to keep life interesting and to keep you interested so three of pentacles is obviously i think this is definitely a, a, a connector card uh, for you at the moment you're reconnecting with people to collaborate with maybe you've been floundering for a little bit on your own uh, maybe you have felt the need to sort of reconnect with um you know co-workers or community groups or anything that involves teamwork um, that's how I read this but also for some and this is for some not for all you might even be going through a period at the moment where you're looking at relocating or buying or selling a home or signing a new lease but it could also indicate something around real estate so if you're watching this and you're having to think about real estate right now and you'd like a personal reading, uh, get in touch with me as well. Everything about me is in the links in the description below if you want to book a private reading. So this is very general. This is for all Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus if you're into that, um, but also Venus being your ruling planet. So I feel like Taurus, you're, as I said, um, reconnecting with people, collaborating with friends, collaborating with um, like-minded individuals, people who you feel you can be inspired by as well this is a card of um you know obviously birthing new ideas and growth but it's also like because threes for me are also about you know creativity or creation um and also it's a quite a holy card too because any three for me is also that energy of binar or understanding and birthing new ideas and um learning about those ideas as you as you go along so even if you're um not thinking about moving right now you might be moving creatively like your sort of inspiration is flowing right now and you're doing it in a way that is as i said collaborative so that's sort of overall um let's look at the marseille i'm learning how to say marseille 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 because i was saying marseille before like the the town versailles <laughs> as opposed to marseille because they look very similar, but the pronunciation is very different. I guess next level as well, when I'm uber fluent in uh, the Marseille, I also would like to learn French and read it in French. My French is terrible, but I'll get there. 
Let's have a look. Taurus, you have Ace of Pentacles, Five of Swords, and the Page of Wands. Now, I have, as I said, read the meanings of these cards because the deck is different to the Rider Waite system and the Toth system and any other system that you may have looked at in the past. There are some underlining themes that are still similar, but if you were to put the Five of Swords next to the Rider Waite and the Marseille, they are quite different. So this is why um, I hope you enjoy the journey with me and thank you for your patience as well. But you also might learn something about Marseille along the way. So here we go. Uh, Ace of Pentacles. Now, this just blew my mind because not only is this card so simple, but it is so beautiful and it is earth energy. So it is obviously stemming from, uh, it stems from the growth of all elements um, because four is obviously the elements of nature, but it's also, um, you know, you're planting a new seed right now, which is also similar to the original Rider Waite. But the fact that um, the growth here is just really powerful. You can also notice there's like three lines on each petal here, which indicates again that creativity aspect. And then there's sort of four flowers here as well. And you'll notice in the bottom right hand corner, one of these flowers is white in the center there, and then the others are red. Why? Qua? <laughs> uh, the bottom right hand, I think, and this isn't in the book, but this is something that I came across, is indicating Taurus because there are four fixed signs. And on the world card and also on the Wheel of Fortune card, the bottom right hand uh, element is the bull. And so I thought that was just but bizarre and beautiful. Um, so I just want to share that with you. But also, um, listen, Taurus, I think this, this is a new beginning for you. This is something here that you've decided it's like this energy of enough is enough. Let's start something new. You know, you're tired of the old stuff. This is about new stuff, new growth, new ideas. Okay. And they're things that are very practical as well. Um, it's something here that's driven with, um, you know, solidarity and also just it's very grounded. It's very sort of, okay, time to sink my teeth into something or time to, you know, take hold of um, something here that is a completely um, just very round, just very grounded and round, well-rounded, you know, literally. Um, I love, love, love this card. Um, there's a lot of yellow in this card as well. And yellow, um, very similar to the alchemical sort of representation in the Golden Dawn, the yellow always indicates the mind. So it's like using your mind to create new ideas um, you know, the mental sort of aspect of the sun as well is sort of here too with the 32 rays. It's very similar to the 32 rays that surround the moon on the moon card. And the 32 is like the um, 22 paths plus the 10 sephira on the tree of life as well. So 32 is a very significant number if you count all of these petals around here as well. That is not in the book. That is something that I reference when I read right away. But it's about shining. You know, shining, using your mind, using your intellect, your creativity to build something solid and plant this new seed for new growth for yourself and new growth um, in opportunities, especially, as I said over here, with this three of pentacles. Um, it's the energy of um, working with others uh, and creating that stability for yourself. It's not just sort of sing being too, you know, uh, segregated from other people it is it, it is almost like this beautiful unity that's coming together so this is your first card um new growth opportunities potentially new job opportunities um you know a new a new time to plant new seeds which is fantastic now this card i love 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 as well this is the five of swords and listen, um, fives throughout the marseille uh, indicate change and that's very you know talking about numerology fives are about change um but this essentially means a breakthrough it's pushing through the limits of um potentially um stagnant you know stagnancy you know a four might be also considered stagnant whereas we're moving away from a four into a five so there is a shift taking place um sword energy as well is obviously of the mind excuse me uh, but it is, you know, uh, a change for the better, um, almost like a, a breakthrough out of 
um, adversity. Um, you're you're able to fight the good fight. You're able to um, see something through. There's a there's a cloud. The clouds are kind of parting um, with this energy. So that's also um, very very positive and extremely um, optimistic. And I also feel that, um, you know, there's that sort of clarity with the sword in the center of the reading as well. It's sort of a bit of an aha moment, but it's an aha moment for, you know, as I said, fighting the good fight um, and potentially asking for something here that, you know, you had previously and now you're wanting it back again. Um, I don't know why I said that, but that's just a message I got sort of intuitively. The final card, which is the outcome card, is the Page of Wands. Now, this is also about, um, you know, harnessing your creativity and making decisions based on, you know, your enthusiasm as opposed to pre being pragmatic. Um, but also it is progress in terms of being the messenger of, of new ideas and new creativity coming through and new growth. The green, there's a lot of green in this card as well, and the green has always, regardless of the Marseille or any other deck, when I see green, not only is it my favorite color, but it also indicates growth here. So I feel like, um, Taurus, you're going through this beautiful period of, you know, enjoying the process, enjoying, um, you know, making beautiful decisions around um, what looks beautiful, what feels great, um, the sensuality of Venus, and also the fact that, you know, being a page is also sort of, you know, becoming more of a student again as well. I mean, I always see pages as younger, obviously energy. Um, maybe there are still things that you need to learn about certain situations and how to progress with certain situations. You know, if you're youthful and you're excited and you're passionate about something, you might just sort of run into the room and express yourself. Whereas, you know, there could be more senior people in the room kind of shaking their head going, okay, we'll just, you know, calm down. Let's just work, work through this um, one step at a time. So I feel like Taurus, you know, there's some terrific energy coming through here. As I said, that beautiful Ace of Pentacles, um, that breakthrough energy with the Five of Swords, and then um, reclaiming um, some youthful energy here when it comes to being inspired, creating something new, um, but also keeping your head, uh, you know, above water when it comes, you know, when it comes to um, your knowledge base and pushing through that next step of what you need to know next to get to that next level. So Taurus, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, smash the subscribe button. And if you'd like a private reading, links are below. Also a final shout out, if you haven't already uh, discovered this, we've started a friend of mine, Martin, um, have put together a podcast called Tarot Uncancelled. The latest episode is up. It's called Identity in Tarot. Um, the link again is in the description below. Go check that out. It's a lot of fun. We talk about all the things that people are afraid to talk about in the tarot and the spiritual community. So I hope you enjoy that extra content as well. So until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, Taurus.